Good morning. Welcome back to another week. I am actually working downstairs this week. I have my office set up behind me and uh, we have Lilith, the poodle, the toy poodle. She has returned to us for the week. She's very curious about this grate for some reason, which freaks me out a little bit. <laughs> I am waiting on a really big file to load and it's gonna take some time because it's in 4K and it's huge. While I wait for that, I am gonna make myself some breakfast. Here's the outfit, my favorite sweatpants, which are my husband's work pants. He wanted to get rid of them and I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. These look like my kind of sweats. I don't know why I love them so much, but I do. IBEW is the local electrical union and well, the local is local 46. IBEW is the union, but yeah, that's my outfit. <laughs> so fancy. I know watching me make a smoothie every day isn't top quality content, <laughs> but for me, the exciting part of my morning. So I'm trying to think if there's anything like super interesting I did in therapy this week. It is nice to like kind of update. I cried on this one. I don't cry every week, but I almost do. <laughs> I almost do. And it's, I'm laughing because it's like, awkward for me to talk about I guess a little bit anyway I'm gonna get back to uh doing this and I can't talk to you and do that at the same time but I just wanted to say hi and welcome to a new week really fun project going on I'll hopefully I want to I really want to upcycle and clean those vintage sweaters yeah that's gonna be like a whole thing but I definitely want to show you what I got thrifting and whatever else I can think of for the week so that's it <laughs> And that's it for now. I've got to get back to work and I'm going to make my smoothie and I'll see you guys when I see you. Hello. It's been a couple of days, if I'm completely honest. We just had a guest pup leave this morning. But yeah, I'm just getting ready because actually my mother-in-law, when she was here, it was our six year wedding anniversary and because she was here we just didn't do anything and we weren't really in the mood to do anything but I need to get out of this house. So last night I started watching Fallout and I got so into it I stayed up until one o'clock in the morning. I have one episode left of Fallout but I'm just really into it. I love it. I played the game though so it's got this nostalgia if you are a game player um, I just think it's cool Bethesda, who is the creators of Fallout the game, have a part in the production of this. So it was a Amazon MGM production, but Bethesda also. So I just think it's good that they're involved because it's showing such reminiscence of everything that you experience when you play the Fallout game. I mean, the robots, the voices of the robots, the music... Uh, it has a lot of really great cameos from some, you know, popular people like Fred Armisen is in it. He can't like do anything without being funny, even if he's trying to be serious. And I just, I don't know, I'm just enjoying it. So go watch it on Amazon if you have Amazon Prime. I actually am pretty impressed with just like the overall production. It's kind of giving a little bit of The Last of Us which isn't that on HBO, I think that's an HBO production. So it's really showing just the quality of how you can get something just just as well produced as something you would see on HBO. It's just as good as The Last of Us, which is another one of my favorite games that I played. I don't know, it's just fun. Like The Witcher was even turned into a um, TV series. So all of these games that I love. Now where is Skyrim? Where is Skyrim, everybody? Where is Skyrim? That would be fun, wouldn't it? I think that would be so fun. So yeah, anyway, as I was saying, I'm getting ready. It's my husband and I's anniversary dinner date tonight. And uh, it's just, we put it off all week and we're like, we need to do something. I definitely don't want it to just float by and us not give our, our marriage anniversary any sort of love. So we are gonna go to dinner. We're actually going to this place called Field, I think. It's called Field Bar. I think that's where we're gonna go because a little bird on Reddit told me that it is one of the secret hiding places for non-alcoholic beverages. But they have the most amazing menu. They have like shareables, small plates, tapas style, and then also full dinners. And it looks really good. But I think they have the Phony Negroni, which is my favorite thing. And they're really hard to find. 
the phony Negronis. So I am really excited to see if they have that on the menu. Uh, I did not do a Wednesday one shot this week, which I'm sure you guys noticed. I actually filmed it. I pre-filmed it because I was like, I'm going to be so on top of it that even when I'm busy with something else, I have pre-filmed my Wednesday one shot. That's why I've been trying to stay a week ahead of it. But uh, unfortunately, I hated the footage so bad. Like I hated it. So I just deleted all the footage. I deleted it. So I'll have to do a different one. I swear to God, I use this palette more than any other palette I own because it's just so pretty. I just love the look of this whole palette. It's the Brazilian Glow Eyeshadow Palette by Ciate, and it's just so pretty. It's just a very Sienna palette for just an everyday vibe. And my hair, I will brush out. I'm just trying to extend the life of the curl, so what I'll do is curl it ahead of time so that it can kind of just hold, and then right before I get dressed or right after I get dressed, I'll brush it out and give it some, you know, body so that it's not flat. But I feel like the curls last longer when I do it this way, when I give it some time to cool off. Ah, I had it perfect. And then I just skipped over that middle part. And now I'm gonna end up with a wing so much bigger than I had intended. Crisis averted, fixed it. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I got some things thrifting when my stepmom was here. I just need to try this stuff on first. So let's go check out the new thrifted items. So this is the first thing I got. It's just a little jumper outfit and I like to garden and just hang out in the yard and stuff like this. I don't know, it needs a belt, let me see. And then obviously not this sports bra under it. It has potential. I just feel like it's really, <laughs> like, it's that kind of material that's just showing every little bump and curve. And I also feel like I would like this folded up and maybe pinned because with shorts, I just feel like on me, I, I prefer them to look a little bit more like cuffed. Okay, don't laugh at this next one and pardon the pile of clothes. I need to go through it. That is all the stuff I'm going to be listing in my website. It's just taking me forever to photograph and list it. And it's something I absolutely hate to do. <laughs> Why do I feel like Mrs. Roper? It is such a Mrs. Roper moo moo. Oh my God. But I love it because I always love moo-moos because they always have the coolest detail up here. Um, it does have pockets. The pockets are here. So I was considering doing what I always like to do with a moo-moo, which is cut it short and make it a baby doll dress. I love doing that to moo-moos. I love putting, you know, ruffle at the bottom and lopping it off and just making it cute. So I will be upcycling this in some fashion so that it's more flattering on me. I mean, it's cute, but it's not the vibe. This is not my style. Okay, and this is what I was considering wearing because these types of dresses are my absolute favorite. They're kind of like 90s style skater dresses, but I love it. It's, it reminds me of that black one I have with the little red roses on it, and it's a turtleneck. So this one's pretty much the exact same thing, except for instead of a turtleneck, it's a scoop neck and it has navy blue and pink roses instead. This is so cute. It's a perfect length. Like this is the length of dresses on me. So I have this really adorable Alice and Olivia dress and I think I would rather wear this. It's a little bit dressier. I also actually love the little slip dress that it comes with. It's got this really low V to it. I honestly would almost wear by itself if it wasn't so see-through. Are we really surprised that I've got this on with a harness and cowboy boots? Just gonna apply this to the legs. Probably the leather Prada just to go with the harness. All right, fit check. The husband's looking fly. Montclair hat. Where's the shirt from? Banana Republic. Banana Republic and some Balenciaga sneakers. I was gonna say boots, sneakers, right? Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> I'm 
having my morning coffee and uh, this is my second cup already. I put so much cinnamon in it and it tastes so good. I always forget to do cinnamon. I need to just keep it by the coffee maker because every time I put cinnamon in my coffee, it tastes so much better and it makes a world of difference. Mm. Mm. Um, oh my gosh, so that food yesterday, uh, let me just recap. We went to that field bar in Tacoma and that place is a little hidden gem and the food, oh my God, the food. So we ended up just sitting at the bar. So we got two appetizers. We got the uh, sourdough they make in-house, which came with a ricotta and jam that they make there. We also got the olives, which is like a little cup of um, green olives with some sort of tapenade or sauce or something on it that was so delicious. Uh, he got the phony negroni mezcal and i felt like i don't i'm gonna get fomo if i don't know what that tastes like so i ended up just ordering the same thing but i wish i had actually just ordered the regular phony negroni because the mezcal one is smoky and he loves that but i actually don't like that smoky flavor in a drink then uh so we got the two appetizers and then we both ended up getting the gnocchi and the gnocchi had like kale and sausage and then this black garlic aioli sauce like drizzled underneath it so you can just scoop it all up and <laughs> it was so good i have this zero sugar whipped cream one of my favorite little breakfast treats i don't have it often but when I do, I like to have it on the weekends and it's such a treat and I don't feel too bad about it because it's not loaded with sugar. All right, well the bike had spiders all over it so I had to get the broom and shoo them off. I filled the tires with some fresh air so they should be good to go i feel like i need to wd-40 the chain but i don't want it to like fall off and yeah we'll just see how this little excursion goes okay changed i'm actually in like a little jersey style dress just something comfortable because i really worked up a sweat <laughs> cycling um that was such a lovely bike ride and i walked all through the market and i went around twice just to make sure i didn't miss anything there was a lot of stuff that i wanted but i couldn't get because it wouldn't fit in my basket and i i made a rule that i would only take what i can fit in the basket to get back so I got a jar of honey, I got microgreens, they were buy one get one because it was the end of the market, which good to know that if I ever want extra of produce or something that has a shelf life of like one day or can't sit out in the sun for too long, that go towards the end because you might be able to get yourself a deal. Anyway, I got two containers of that and then I got um, another Dahlia. I think, I think the name of it's a Coraline Dahlia. I'll put a photo of what it is but I got another one and they said you could plant them now. The guy at the Tacoma Home and Garden Show said to plant them on Mother's Day, but I actually um, just got word from those ladies <laughs> that you can do it now um, after, the first after the last frost. So just making sure there's no more cold days ahead, which I think we're in the clear. So I'm heading to Target <laughs> and I wanted to go over to TJ Maxx because I need another candle and I might just peruse TJ Maxx. So I'm just like, you know, hitting the store. I want to get lunch for tomorrow because I believe we're just going to be gardening tomorrow. I, I really like this one particular super cheap shampoo. I think it's by Tresemme and I buy it um, in a like double pack and then I, I it's all I use. I've tried other shampoos and other shampoos and conditioners are great, but my hair just loves this one particular shampoo and conditioner. And it's like $10 for two huge bottles. It lasts me forever. It's gonna re-up on that and anything else I need. I love that TJ Maxx has affordable infused diffusers. So this is lavender and patchouli, 
which this one smells so good. They have these little things in the corners that like open so you can smell it. And so we're gonna put this one in the bedroom. And then I got a second one. This one is sage and eucalyptus. And I'll put this one in the living room. I was a sucker for the packaging. This uh, herb, Urbane by DW Home. Ethereal and bright Luna Dream room spray. Smells amazing and it was $5.99 so I couldn't help myself. I love home fragrance. That's kind of a thing of mine. I've loved to have the house smelling amazing at all times. And then I actually was thinking about redoing this table. I think I want to switch the candles out and put those upstairs because I have two empty candle holders upstairs and I think those will look really cute up there. And then put these ones down here. I might do that. But I love these ones. I got those at uh, World Market. But these are really cool. And then I got a candle because I love candles that just smell like a clean shave. Honestly, it's my favorite. And this is what I was talking about. Buy two and save. I always just buy this huge economy pack of the Tresemme Rich Moisture Shampoo and Conditioner. It's $9.99 for the set and it lasts me months. And it's my favorite shampoo and conditioner for my hair. It just makes it feel amazing. My favorite kombucha, Pink Lady Apple. I haven't gotten a new coffee mug in a really long time and I thought this was so cute. Little spring mug. We are finished with our walk. It was a lovely stroll through the park, wasn't it, BBs? Yes, it was. They had a great time. They needed to get out of the house. And we, I had that turmeric coffee. It's my favorite. It's not even coffee. It's like a turmeric, almost like a chai. It's got all sorts of stuff in it for inflammation, gut health. Um, it's called the golden hour. It's so good. So Lyle is gonna be um, grabbing things he needs for his projects today. But I'm gonna go get some steaks for my, cause you need like steaks for dahlias to grow up as they start to mature because the heads of them are so heavy that they can like fall over. So it kind of gives them support. So I need to buy like three steaks. I need to buy compost apparently, cause they said, I watched like three tutorials on dahlias and listened to tons of podcasts. So I'm hoping that I put him, I put them in the right place. It says like soil with a lot of drainage and the soil that I have along the fence is fairly new. So I was thinking along that fence line, I was gonna just have a few dahlias growing and we have some roses over there as well. As soon as we get the right side of the uh, fence line and along the back of our fence completely, we need to get it all tilled, all tilled out because it's got a lot of invasive species, weeds and stuff. Um, and then we're gonna get a shed put in. We're gonna actually lay down pavement and gravel so that there's something for the shed to go on. So I don't really feel any need to give that side of our yard any attention. So all the flowers are gonna be on the left side. That's gonna be like my mini garden to tend to until I could eventually expand over to the right side. And that's when I'll probably get into more like vegetable gardening and things. But right now I'm just in my flower phase of just having a lot of flowers to look at. I had to change and now I look like an extra on Lord of the Rings but I'm making us some sandwiches and then I'm gonna start gardening I got so much I'm so excited to hydrangea I'll just show you later plant haul but I'm making us some sandwiches two Capri Suns left
holy crap holy. <laughs> I am spent. Does anybody else notice that they're like, like I get like heartburn when I garden? It's something, because I get really thirsty so I chug water. And then I have to keep bending over to pull things and weed. And it's like, I get heartburn every time and it makes it hard to breathe. I think I'm, I think I put the hydrangea in a good place. I don't really have too many options on the other side of the fence because that all needs cleared. So I really only have like this side of the house right now where I can plant anything. Um, yeah, so I still need to like go section by section around this yard and just tackle each one, one by one. The bluebells really do take over everything, which they're really pretty, but they're also kind of a pain in the ass. I feel accomplished. I also realized that these Balmain sunglasses are my favorite for gardening because they don't like, they don't mess up my vision and they don't slide down, they hug my face perfectly and they don't feel like you even have sunglasses on. Like I forgot that I even had them and they're great. I feel like this hairdo is very 70s with <laughs> the heatless curl. Definitely didn't take on the bottom. <laughs> Look like I have a mullet. I don't know if this is the style for me, but it's just how my hair turned out today. So whatever, it's wild. My neighbor is burning firewood and it smells so good out here right now. It smells like firewood and fresh cut grass and spring evenings. It's so nice. I'm in heaven. I'm gonna make some vegan enchiladas with like a plant-based meat and I know plant-based meat people. <laughs> Marcy made a comment. <laughs> well, I forget which one it was, but it's like plant-based foods in general are kind of funny when you think about it. But when you don't want to eat red meat, but you want that like kind of red meat ground beef texture, it's a nice substitute. Um, anyway, that's going to be it for this week actually. I have some things going on next week that will be exciting to share, so be sure to stay tuned for that. And I, yeah, appreciate you sticking around if you made it all the way to the end. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're not, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. I like to share that